Don't miss out on the special offer from my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They're currently giving you 20% off if you use my coupon code Poodle at checkout and also giving you an additional 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we just got flashback cards. Okay, so there's flashbacks. There's a new bundle in store. There's new players. And what it costs to get them? Different than usual, but it was kind of expected. So guys, first things first, if you're new to the channel, smash the sub button, go turn on the noti bell to get notified every time I post a content video like this. These are the perfect videos to have the noti bell on for. You get notified right away when I post, guys. Also, thank you for the crazy support. We hit 3.2K. The channel is doing very well. Thank you guys for everything you guys have given me over this past week already. It's been crazy. Now guys, comment down below what you guys think of this new promo, or should I say, the new content, plus the new packs. I'm gonna go over the content of the packs i'm gonna go over the new players and i'm probably even gonna be pulling one for you guys all right so let's get into this oh and 100 likes please that'd mean a lot definitely will mean a lot to me okay guys so let's look so 10 times game changer bundle we got series one 10 packs 84 overall plus player let's see if we can see the view and yeah view info 86 pluses are 5.5 83s are 26 percent so these are standard pack odds so for about what is that like 80 dollars you'd say like 70 to 80 dollars for this is it worth it i'm not entirely sure game changer packs are usually pretty glitchy eh they could be worth it because it doesn't have the topper two which is probably gonna be 84 overall now a single one is 50k let's see the odds should be same thing yeah so as far as the bundle goes i probably won't be popping this just because i've already opened all my bundles you guys could try it it could be a nice change of pace in the gridiron packs let's see how much was it 10 golds there is what's the contents of the pack it's typically i believe it's usually like 10 golds in the pack Let's see if I can read it over here. Yeah, no, it's five. It's only five. Okay, so game changers are cut in half now. I mean, maybe the odds are better, but that's kind of ass. I probably won't be popping this bundle. Now, I'm going to show you guys where you can get the flashback cards. So the flashback cards are right here in special offers. Nope, trading currency right here. So flashback cards are 1,780 for a flashback player. 86 overall plus. So I don't entirely know what they are yet. I'm going to go over to set, see if they dropped anything. I guess I just gotta go pull and see what I can find real quick. All right, guys. So I do have the EA Twitch stream up on the screen right now. It looks like there's an Emmanuel Sanders. Um, I can see from the store that there is a Andrew Luck and a Terrell Suggs. I'm gonna go pull this for you guys so you guys can get it on video. I know you guys probably want to see this, so let's go do this. Let's head over to the auction house. So there's the Terrell Suggs that just came on screen for me. I can just read you guys the stats so you guys can see me. He's got a 71 speed, 77 excel. 83 strength, 82 tackle, 88 player rec, 79 block shed, 85 power move, and 64 finesse. Eh. Terrell Suggs looking kind of ass, to be honest with you guys. Let's see if there's any good training values in the store right now. Uh, I don't really... I don't really know what the best value is. It's pro It was 88s. They're kind of expensive. But you know what? I want to get this on video for you guys, so let's go do this. Let's just buy Tom Brady. Let's do it. Let's get it for the video. Selling him right now. You guys are going to be able to win this stuff. Full flashback pull right when they dropped. I can actually, I think I can afford two, but I don't know if I'll do two. It depends how the first one goes. So, we know this Terrell Suggs, Emmanuel Sanders, Andrew Luck. That's not so bad. Now, switch back over to this. All right, so. What do we want to get here? I don't know the entire, I don't know the entireties of the, the overalls that you could get. So, again, I'm not entirely sure what to expect, to be completely honest with you here. I'm going to be opening this. Let's hope it's good, guys. Comment down below what you think I could get if you even know the players already. Comment down below. You guys will probably know by the time this is posted. Hmm. I don't really, I really don't know. There's a shock to me. Let's open up the first one. I'll probably do a second one. Come on. Issue occurred. Oh, here we go. Servers are down. All right, boys. Let's try this again. And we get it. Please give us one of the highest overall ones. I don't even know what we can pull. That's a sick animation. We get Andrew Luck. 85 throw accuracy mid, 83 throw power, 89 throw accuracy short, 85 throw accuracy deep, 82 throw under pressure, 85 throw on the run, and 82 acceleration. I don't know if this is the best overall you can pull, but if it is, we could have hit a big. Let's go check the price real quick because we don't know what we hit. 86 plus. I don't know. What overalls does he go up to? Let's go check the block card to see if any of them are up so I can show you guys. I'm not entirely sure what I can sell this for. Hopefully it's crazy something crazy good. If it's more than 150k, I made my money back. Let's see program flashbacks. All right, Emmanuel Sanders is up for cheap. All right, so there's Emmanuel Sanders, Marvin Jones Jr. 
There is Brandon Brooks, Tony Jefferson, Terrell Suggs, Andrew Lux 160K. Okay, so I made my money back on that one. Jason McCourty. So let me read, let me go over these real quick for you guys. So I did pull Luck. I probably only be pulling one because these are kind of cheap right now. All right, so Emmanuel Sanders. Stats are 83 speed, 86 jumping, 84 catching, 80 catching traffic, 82 spectacular catch, 83 short route running, 82 medium route running, and 82 deep route running. Marvin Jones Jr., 84 speed, 85 jumping, 81 catching, 82 catching traffic, 89 spec catch, 74 short route, 81 medium route route, my bad, 85 deep route. So Marvin Jones Jr. is an okay wide receiver. He's decent at best. I'm not really a fan of his stats too much. Emmanuel Sanders is slightly better, a little bit on the slower side though. When it comes to what I expect from a new card, but let's see Brandon Brooks. It's kind of big, maybe bringing on the right guard market a little bit. Eh, at that price point, I'd rather have a Larry Allen or Zach Martin. Let's see Tony Jefferson. 80 speed, 82 excel, 91 play rec is really good. 85 pursuit, 77 tackle, 77 man coverage, 79 zone, and 84 hit power. A little slow for my liking compared to uh, Allen Houston. Now let's check out Terrell Suggs. He's one of the banger ones in this one. So he has 71 speed, 77 excel. 83 strength, 82 tackle, 88 player X, 79 block shed, 85 power move, and 64 finesse. He is a typical, prototypical pass rusher off the edge. Too slow for my liking. I'd much rather have a clown here, Khalil Mack there, especially at that price point. I'm pretty sure Jason McCourty is pretty insane. Yeah, he's pretty good. 87 speed, 88 excel, 84 jumping, 82, 82 jumping, 84 agility, 83 play rec, 83 man coverage, and 81 zone coverage, and 84 press. 5'11". This guy's a beast. He's gonna look like he's looking like a really good corner. Let's compare him real quick to Jalen Ramsey. Okay, obviously coverage not he's not gonna get him on coverage, but guys like Byron Jones, he's right there. He's way faster, to be honest. Yeah, I think Jason McCord is like a better Marshawn Lattimore. And then we got Andrew Luck right here. His stats are looking pretty good. Let's compare him to my Mahomes to see how he stacks up. Obviously, he's not gonna be better, but he does have better short, better speed, better play. Throw under pressure is pretty good for him. Alright, he's not too bad. Honestly, this looks a pretty good quarterback, and he's going to be on the cheaper side, probably. Let's see if there's any more that's been pulled real quick before. Oh, Sheldon Richardson just got pulled. 66 speed, 79 excel, 83 strength, 87 tackle, 83 play rec, 70 block shed, 84 power move, and 68 finesse. His card is not that good, but at defensive tackle, I mean, can't really complain. It's looking like everything that could be pulled might have been pulled already. I'm not entirely sure. Let's keep looking. One more refresh, guys, before we end this video. All right, let's see. Am I missing anything? Sorry, guys, if I missed something, I'm kind of going through this quickly. One more. All right. And also, guys, comment down below if you guys do this pack. Comment down what you guys got. Also, comment if you guys plan to open any of these packs and what you guys got out of those because I guess I got lucky. It's looking like I got pretty lucky on these. So guys, that's pretty awesome. Um, this is probably the only news for the day because again, until the season drops, we don't have daily content as much as we typically do. So this is probably the most news we'll get for the day. I hope you guys did enjoy this news though. This is pretty awesome. They brought back flashbacks. They did change it though from training. I mean, from tokens to training. So we do know training is going to be the replacement for tokens this year, which isn't that bad to be honest with you. I kind of like that. That's pretty cool. And at the moment, these don't look too profitable if you were to use them for training for them. I mean, if you think about it, I got 2,400 training. They cost about probably like 100K worth of training. So, I mean, at the moment, if you guys can pull something above 100K, it's worth it, like Andrew Luck. But at the moment, we don't exactly know what the prices are staying for. So, it all really depends at that point what the prices go for. But, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the awesome Andrew Luck pull. That was lucky of us. I'm really happy we pulled that out of a lot of other cards we could have gotten, like a Marvin Jones or Emmanuel Sanders. Could have been worse. And I'm really happy because we did spend a lot of training on that Tom Brady. But guys, stay tuned for a lot of daily content. I am posting about three other videos today. Stay tuned for those. You guys know the deal already. Three videos a day. Let's hit 4K by the end of this week if we could. By end of this week, I mean let's hit 4K within about seven days. I really think you guys can do it. You guys are out producing expectations right now. I really appreciate that, guys. So I don't think I'm going to sell Andrew Luck yet. I'll probably wait a little bit until more of them get bought out. I mean, maybe I'll sell them now. It depends. Guys. If you've been enjoying the content videos like this, the daily 1030 content, please make sure to drop a like at 100 likes down below for the awesome Andrew Luck pull. It looks like we pulled the best one, so that's cool. Also, guys, thank you guys so much for every all the support I've had this week. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on that noti bell to be notified every time I post content just like this.